Good morning guys and welcome to today's vlog. I am going to be doing a recipe video and just kind of like a daily vlog in New York City. I got up this morning and I went for a run. I just run along the East River. It's actually super nice and there's tons of runners out so I ended up just doing that. I'm going to go to the store and see if they have some ingredients for a recipe because I just got a food processor and I'm excited about it because that's what happens when you grow up you get excited about things like kitchen appliances so that's basically me and then today's outfit I just got back from Whole Foods and I went ahead and made some lunch because I'm getting hungry So I made these teriyaki tofu tacos phone just went off which never happens so Yes, I'm sitting on the ground, but I wanted to do a quick Whole Foods haul I just mainly got stuff that I was using for today's recipe that I'm gonna make after I eat by the way Whole Foods is so expensive it makes me want to die these were nine dollars but they are the siete almond flour tortilla shells and they're paleo non-gmo gluten-free dairy-free soy-free vegan and i'm excited to try them i got unsweetened coconut flakes some almond flour and I actually like poured it myself in whole foods little like self-serve section which was really cost effective this whole cup only cost me 189 and almond flours like really pricey. I got Daya cream cheese style spread so it's just vegan cream cheese. 100% pure maple syrup. I got some pitted dates. Organic Turkish figs. Vanilla extract. So that's a mini Whole Foods haul. A lot of good stuff for like baking purposes if you like like vegan and like healthy sweet snacks which is like definition of me. So I'm gonna eat these tacos and then we'll get on to the recipe. I like them. I just finished lunch and as you saw I only ended up eating one of the tacos and um, I also want to have one of these um, treats after I make them so I'm gonna start by making some homemade almond butter. I just soaked these almonds overnight and I'm gonna throw them in this mini food processor which I got on Amazon. It's only like $30. So far so good but I've also never had one before so I'm not sure how it's supposed to be but I think I'm gonna put a little bit of vanilla cinnamon into the almond butter so it tastes better. Okay, so that took me a really long time, but this is the consistency that I'm gonna have to be happy with because it's just not becoming any more liquefied. I was reading like an article that said it takes like over 15 minutes. Taste it though, and it's really good. I'm going to pop this in the freezer while I make the filling. Okay, the last step, which I think will be the easiest of this recipe, is to make the chocolate topping on it. And you just need cocoa powder, coconut oil, and maple syrup. I cut some of these figs in half and then added some coconut on top of the chocolate and then I'm going to pop this into the freezer until it hardens. Hey guys, so I just cleaned up the kitchen and I'm pretty dead. So I'm having a banana. I need like to be horizontal for a minute. I'm doing horizontal running. So I'm going to watch some YouTube videos and then hopefully we can try treats. So they've been in the freezer for probably an hour now and I'm getting impatient and they look really good. Wow. I'm gonna eat this whole thing. Hey guys, so I am back and I'm making dinner. It is 6.15 right now. I don't know what's up with focusing on this camera but it's driving me absolutely nuts. Yes, okay. For tonight, I am just doing a super easy dinner, and that is going to be this yellow jackfruit curry by Trader Joe's. It's like the easiest dinner ever, and I'm craving something salty. This, and I already put it in the microwave for five minutes. You just lift this corner, and then it comes in like two compartments, so I'm just gonna transfer it to the bowl. I 
added some fresh tomato, which I just had to use up, and then some pumpkin seeds just to make it look pretty. But I'll mix it all up. Yeah, I'm so excited about this. And then obviously I'm gonna have dessert after. For dessert, and the last thing that I'm gonna have today is another one. And I don't think my reaction was even accurate. They're amazing, like literally amazing. Mm -hmm. Okay guys, I'm going to end the video here. I hope you guys like this what I eat in a day and the raw dessert recipe if you have a sweet tooth like me I really think you should try it and also all of the ingredients you can just modify and do with what you have Thank you guys so much for watching definitely leave comments of what you guys want to see um, any New York related videos I have a few in mind that I'm excited about definitely subscribe if you haven't already because there is a lot more coming your way And I'll see you guys in my next video on my side.